So in today's video, we'll be using the React Native Reanimated Library to create an animated header. Some of you may have seen this animation in the Airbnb app and now it's pretty common everywhere. The moment you scroll down, you notice that the header gets hidden. And when you scroll back up from any position in your app, you notice that the header appears again. It does not wait for you to reach the top of your scroll view for the header to appear again. As always, we start with an empty React Native project that I've created with Expo and I'm running it here on my iPhone 10 simulator. Here we just first get out of this view which we have by default and pass in another view with a flex of 1. Then we'll pass in our header which you want to absolutely position here on the top. So let's pass in another view and let's style it. Give it a position of absolute, a left of 0, a right of 0 and a top of 0. And let's give it a height of 70 for now. We'll also give it a background color of gray. So there we have our header. Next, we'll go ahead and import a scroll view into our app. So it says scroll view, and here we'll pass it in below our header. Inside our scroll view, we'll display a couple of images, which I already have in my assets folder, and I'll import them in here. So basically it's an array of images, each image has an ID and a URI, which points to its path. Within our scroll view, I'm going to map over these images. And for each image, I'll just pass in a view, which contains an image inside it. Let's go ahead and import image as well from React Native. For the source of the image, I'll use image.uri. Let's style the container of the image by giving it a height of 400, a margin of 20. And for the image, we'll just style it by giving it a flex of 1 a height of null, a width of null, and a border radius of 10. And there we see we're getting our images. To make sure that our header comes above our image, let's just give it a high enough z-index. So let's say z-index 1000, and for Android, we'll give it an elevation of 1000. We also need to make sure that we pass in a key here, which will be image.id. So there our scroll view is working. Now we can go ahead and animate the header. For that, let's go ahead and install React Native Reanimated. So open up your terminal and we'll say yarn add React Native Reanimated. Let's go ahead and import it. So we'll say import animated from React Native Reanimated. First thing we do is we'll change our header to an animated dot view. And we'll also change our scroll view to an animated dot scroll view. Now every time we scroll, we want to take that scroll value and store it into another variable. So here we'll say on scroll. Inside this we want animated.event which takes an array within which we want the native event, access the content offset, and then we want to store the y value. So here let's go ahead and create a constant called scroll y, which will be a new animated.value. And we'll start with a value of 0. Let's pass that in here. So earlier we had hard coded a header height. We'll move that out into another constant. So let's say header height. Let's go ahead and create that. Header height and set that to 70. Now every time we want to scroll down, we want the header to be hidden. And when we scroll back up, we want the header to be visible again. So what we'll do is we'll interpolate over this scroll y value, which is storing our scroll position and use the value we get to hide our header. So let's create another constant and let's call it header y and we'll use something known as animated.interpolate within which we'll interpolate over scroll y. The input range that we're looking for is from zero to the height of the header and the output range that we want is zero again when we haven't started scrolling and when we scroll to the height of the header, we want the header to move out. So we want to go to the negative of the header height. Then we'll go ahead and pass this header y to the transform property of our animated view. So here we'll say transform. Inside this, we want to target translate y and we want to set that to header y. Before we test this out, we'll go ahead and set up scroll event throttle and set that to the maximum value of 16. Now when we scroll down, we notice that the header gets hidden. But when we scroll back up, we're not seeing the header appear again. That's because it's only going to appear when we reach our y value. So to fix this, we'll go ahead and create another value here. And let's call that diff clamp scroll y. And within that, we'll use something known as animated.diff clamp, 
which basically takes the animated value that you want to clamp as the first property. As a second property, it takes the minimum value you want to clamp it at. And as a third property, it takes the maximum value. So here, we'll pass in, scroll Y, the minimum value you want is zero, and the maximum value you want is header height. Now instead of passing in scroll Y here, we'll pass in diff clamp scroll Y. Let's save that. Let's scroll up. We see that the header gets hidden. And the moment we scroll back down, we see that the header appears again. But what just happened? Because of the bounce effect of our scroll view, our header gets hidden. So in our animated dot scroll view, let's disable the bounce. So we'll say bounces and set that to false. Now we can make sure that it doesn't get hidden inadvertently. Just to add some finishing touches to our scroll view, we'll pass in a style, give it a padding top, and here we'll pass in the header height. Also for the height of our header, we'll change it depending on the platform. So for that, let's import in platform from React Native. And here, we'll detect which platform it's on by using platform.os. If that's equal to iOS, then we'll give it a value of 70 plus the height of the notch, which is approximately 40 to 45 pixels. So let's give it a value of 115. And if it's Android, we'll give it a value of 70. Plus, we want to also give it the value of the status bar. For that, let's go ahead and import in status bar here. And we'll pass in status bar dot current height. Let's pass in a text inside our header and see how it displays. Let's just call it animated header. Let's align that to the center. And as we see that it's still closer to the top. So for that, we'll give it a padding top, which is equal to the height that we had added which is close to 45. And there we see that looks much better. If we just run our animation again, we notice that it works perfectly.